Hi, this is Nita here with Human Smart Homeschool Academy. In today's lesson, we're going to talk a little bit more about fractions, like the quarter fraction, third, half, and what is one whole. Uh, we're going to learn all of that in this lesson. Let's begin with the word of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts, and to others, love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, welcome aboard. I'm so glad to have you here. Let's go ahead and grab our Mathematics Workbook if you don't have it out already. And if you do, first on the list is our Morality Creed. Go ahead and pull that out. And if you do not have access to the Morality Creed, you can just repeat up to me. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Messiah who died and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sins. He is my Lord, Master, Boss, and Savior. I love God. I love myself and others with the God kind of love. I believe the Bible is inspired by the Spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights and wrongs. I look to the Spirit of God understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent and I live to honor God in thought, in word, and in deed. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Father, please give me grace and mercy to please you more. This is my morality creed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me today in today's lesson. We are right at week 16. Wow, we're just moving along. We are week 16, verse um, day five. <laughs> week 16, day five. This is page 83, and I'm glad that you're here with me. I think that today's lesson will help to help you make a little bit of sense of today's um, exercise in the event you're still a little bit unfamiliar, okay? So this is what you see on your worksheet, something like this. You have one part shaded, uh, one part shaded, one part shaded, and a whole shaded. And I'm just going to interpret what this means. Some of you may already know, but for those of you who don't. Okay, so I have a question to ask you. How many parts is this circle divided into? It's divided into one, two, three, Four. So what we're going to do is we're going to write the number four, which we like to call the denominator. We're going to write the number four below the line. Now I have another question for you. How many parts is shaded? How many parts is shaded? One part is shaded, just this one part. So we're going to write this one at the top. We call the one the numerator. We're going to write the one shaded part at the top, write the number one, and the total number of parts at the bottom. What this means is that one out of four parts is shaded. That's what that means. Now, if we were to do a complete row three, I believe this is row one, this is row two, and this is row three. With row three, we're just going to replicate what we have here. So we want to demonstrate that we understand what one fourth is by shading in one fourth of this pie. So you can choose any of the four uh, circles or parts shaded in. We also call these quadrants. So you can choose any quadrant. <laughs> okay, so we're going to shade in one part. You can choose any one of the four parts as long as you still get one shaded out of the four parts. And voila, that's how you complete the first, um, the first part. Now we're gonna move on to the part two, or the second fraction. You see here, how many parts do have we divided the circle into? Well, you can just count. One, two. There's a line right there in the middle. There, this is divided into two parts, so we're gonna write that down. You can write it down on your paper as well. We divided this circle into two parts. My second question, 
how many parts are shaded? One. Only one part of this circle is shaded. So that's the part you're going to write up here. We call that the numerator. You can say one out of two is shaded, or you can say one half. One half is shaded. Would you like to have half of my sandwich? One half is shaded. Half of something. One half. Now let's go ahead and reflect, make this pie reflect this pie, okay? Same exact thing, you're just gonna shade in one of the two pies on one of the two sections. I'm going to shade in the left side just to show you that it doesn't matter which side you shade in, as long as it's only one of the two. So we're gonna shade. <laughs> And there you have it. One out of two parts shaded. Good, let's move right along. Here we have a, a circle and we've divided it into how many parts? So my first question is, how many parts is the circle divided into? Let's count. One, two, three. This circle is divided into three parts. So we're gonna write the number three where? below the line. We're going to write it as the denominator. Question two. How many parts are shaded? One. One part is shaded. So we're going to write the numerator or the number of parts shaded at the top of the line. And there you have it. One third. One third of the pie is shaded. One third. What we're going to do is come over here and make this circle reflect that circle. You can choose any one of the uh, sections to color in. And I'm just gonna choose this one just to show you that it doesn't matter which section you choose to color in as long as you only shade in one. Okay, and finally we have and you know, this line doesn't belong here. Finally, we have this circle. Now my question is, how many parts is this circle divided into? Well, it isn't divided, is it? It's left as one, one, one whole. And because it's left as one, we don't need the line because we're not separating. We're not uh, working with parts. We're working with one whole. So we call this one part or excuse me, one hole is shaded. So you can just write the number one. The whole circle is shaded. So that's one whole circle is shaded. Now let's make this row or this column, column three, reflect the same as the pie on the far left side. So let's go ahead and shade this in. Shade, shade, shade until the whole circle or pie is filled in to reflect that this whole thing is shaded. And that, boys and girls, is how you complete your fractions for today. Well, I hope this lesson has been helpful to you. Remember, Jesus loves you. We love you. And until next time, God bless. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend.